Hi, I'm Doug from Global West. And what I'm going to talk to you today about here is rear strut rods for 63 through 82 Corvettes. But this is a little bit different. We have a previous video that we did on the TBC7, which are these pieces right here. And we talk about the strut rod and what the strut rod does and some of the design techniques we used on this, you know, making it like a turnbuckle and what have you. And that video you can watch. We'll pop it up on the screen for that link. You can check it out. But this is taking it to the extreme. What we've got going on here is this has got a specific height block that we've worked on. This is a spacer and this is going to go in the rear suspension and it's going to change the location of where the inner pivot points are for the strut rod. One of the reasons why we do this is Corvettes have an issue with camber change in the rear. Now camber is the tilt of the tire in or out as the suspension is moving and that's done through the strut rods and the swing arm application with the half shaft. That's all controlling your camber curve, okay? One of the problems with these Corvettes is under hard braking or hard acceleration, you know, and, and the rear suspension is moving quite a bit, this camber curve is doing this. And the more change you have in the camber situation, changes that footprint, and that affects how the car is going to respond. And generally, you have an oversteer condition on these things, okay? Well, we're going to show you how this package is going to help reduce that and keep more tire on the ground for all applications, braking, acceleration, and cornering, because we're controlling the camera curve, okay? And in the, I'm going to show you two clips. We're going to show you how it works on our alignment machine. We're going to show you before we did anything and then after we install this plus we'll show you a quick clip on how easy this is to install anyway let's go right now and we're going to take a look at the camber curves between a stock rear Corvette and one after we install this okay we're at the back of the shop now and we're at the alignment rack and we've circled the camber so you can see the tires are pretty much straight up and down we have zero on one side and point minus one on the other which is pretty much straight up and down first thing we're going to demonstrate here is when the tires go up into the fender in the back, you notice how much negative camber they generated. You got a minus 0.87 and a minus 0.88 as we bring it back up to standard ride height. And now we're going to go above ride height in the back and that would simulate like nose dive under braking and what have you, how the tires come out of the fender. You're going to notice that that camber being from negative or at zero is starting to go positive and it moves quite a bit. In fact, you have over one and three quarters of a degree change from bump to rebound in the back. So as that tire moved up and down, that's how much it changed. Now we're going to show you with the new kit. And again, we went from zero all the way down. We only generated 0 0.3234, 3, back to stock ride height. And now we're going to go up and we're going to show you how much camber change there is there. only 0.32. So the difference between stock and what we have now is a one full degree change versus one and three quarters of a degree change with the stock application and only 0.70 degree change with our new kit. So the tire is actually being flatter on the pavement at all times which is beneficial for handling, braking, cornering, all around tire wear, much better. Okay, so you got an idea of what we're talking about here on the camber the change that's going on in the back. And you see how this particular assembly now has neutralized a lot of that change. That is beneficial. Better tire life, better traction, better cornering ability. Everything's improved, okay? Now let's take a minute and show you how easy it is to install. Okay, we're in the back here and one of our guys is gonna go ahead and install this. Simply line the holes up with the differential, slide it on top of the strut rod cross member mount slip it up into position, bolt it down. Okay, now you got an idea how to install this. It's very simple, very straightforward. Once you install this, immediately that camber curve has been changed. Just get an alignment. We can give you a new alignment specs. They're in the back, the very last page of the instruction sheet, and you're good to go. Whether you're going autocross or road racing, drag, just street performance, this particular package 
will help. Part number TBC 732 Corvette 63 through 82.